Hey guys, we're going to be making a 3D shape construction sculpture. So we're going to build a sculpture using empty boxes and other empty containers such as mac and cheese box, cereal box, tissue box, toilet paper, or paper towel rolls. Anything that will help you create this construction sculpture. You can stack, tape, or glue your sculptures together. So I do got some glue, tape, or you can attach it using the cardboard attachment techniques that I'm about to show you. A flange is where you just cut little slices all the way around and you flatten it out. An L brace is where you have two pieces that are put together with tape. A slot is where you cut two different pieces and slide them in to connect. A tab is where you use tape to hold a piece of your sculpture to the base. You can also use glue down cardboard if you do not have tape as a substitute. A tab and slot is where you cut two strips in the first square and you cut off the edges. After bending them it's easier. And then you go into the next one and you fold it in half and you cut right down the middle of that fold. And then you're going to place your tab into the opening. A brass fastener is where you punch a hole into both pieces of cardboard. I substituted yarn instead of a brass fastener. I just used a pencil to make sure that it went through the hole. After I did that, I went ahead and tied it off and then taped the back down once I had a knot in it. Now it's able to move. Hole punch and wire is where you punch three holes into your pieces of cardboard. Then you're going to connect them. I don't have wire, so I just went ahead again and substituted yarn for that part. I tied them off and they're secure just as well as wire. Fringe is just like flange. It's just on a flat piece of cardboard instead of a cylinder. Let's get into it. You can also draw on the side of your cardboard if you would like to draw you know, your idea. Just make sure if you do draw it, you draw it out nice and big so your scissors can get through it or cut into it. So I'm gonna cut this out and then the rest I will just cut. So the shape that I'm cutting out is an organic shape where it is very wobbly, doesn't look like a square or anything like that. It's very natural. And our squares, our circles, our rectangles, triangles, those are our geometric shapes. Whatever shape you want to do is fine. It's all up to you. You can even use the other part that you just had your object get cut out. This is your positive shape and this would be your negative shape because now it's missing that piece. All right, now that I have my pieces that I want to use to create with, now I'm going to go ahead and color them because you wanna color before you put anything together. If you try to put it together and then you try to color on top of it later, then you might run into a little problem where you're trying to flatten it out to color on it and then you just end up damaging your sculpture. So you wanna color on it before you assemble it. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do next. Now that I finished designing and coloring my flat 2D shapes, now I'm gonna build 
made it into my 3D sculpture. Using some of the techniques that I did in the previous part of the video. But I also did color a little bit on the other side of the cardboard. Uh, I wanted to make sure that everything is cohesive and from all angles it matches up. In no way do you have to do this, I just did it because that's what I wanted to see. And when designing on top of the smoother side that has the design from the cardboard that you have, it is best to use a Sharpie instead of a marker or a crayon. They do go on, but they do smear off a lot easier. The markers, the crayons, they have a wax to them, so it tends to be harder to rub it in. I just found that a Sharpie is better, or if you have paint, then paint will work just as well as the Sharpie, but it was faster to dry with the Sharpie. And I made a base to look the same uh, design and feel that I can just place it down onto it. Now that you built your sculpture, don't forget to show and share with someone at home. Take a photo of your 3D sculpture and share your creation on Twitter, Facebook, or through email. Can't wait to see what you guys created. Once you finish constructing, draw a picture of what your sculpture looks like using your observation skills and don't forget to share your picture.